Howdy everybody. Here's a little live action shot. I've got the lathe set up. Let me put my visor up real quick. Step back so you can see a little bit better. I've got it set on 200 RPM. This is the Grizzly 12 by 36 lathe. This is the, so far at least, it'll be the final cut on the top. As you can probably tell, I've already machined the, the shoulder that I indicated in. And that's going to get reversed and turned into four jaw and carefully centered um, tomorrow night. Or next time I get to work on this. But I already took off about 20 thousandths of an inch off the outside of the, the table, the tabletop, if you will. And it was almost enough to clean it up completely. It, it turned beautifully. And uh, what I did, I've got it set. It's taking off another 25 thousandths. And something I neglected to mention in, in the initial video for tonight was when you're turning cast iron, it's kind of messy. Um, you'll get these little nodules all over the place. So as you can see, I've got the rays of the lathe covered up with a little rag. And also have a, a little shop towel over the ways that this is the x-axis that it, it the ways as it turns it will get covered up some more and so it's turning it's about uh, four thousandths per revolution is all it's advancing so it's giving a really nice smooth finish i'll show that more tomorrow when i show flipping it around but i just wanted to share this Having it on automatic feed, it takes forever. As you can see, I've still, it's only gone an inch and a half for a total of six inches. And, um, gosh, it's, you know, a couple of minutes it's been at least since I started, because I started it before I turned the video camera on. So, for the remaining, now we're up to about an inch and three quarters. It'll be a few more minutes, I don't know, five or six or seven minutes before I get the entire diameter turned down. But once that's done, all I'm going to do, I'll take the file and I'll just lightly chamfer that edge and just make sure it's clean so that I can stick it in, like I said, reverse it and turn it in. And then I'm going to carefully center it on the little stub. You probably can't see that. Let me see if I can get my flashlight out. A little stub in there, you can see it now. But that's the part that's going to be bored out for the, uh, the stem, the table stem. So what I'll do is I'll have a nice shoulder to register against the floor jaw. I'll put some paper in there to give me a little space, some little business card pieces or something like that, or brass, whatever. Flip it around, center it carefully on that stem. And then I'll be able to machine the back edge and the remainder of the shoulder here. The outside edge of the table, it was about six and a quarter inches total. So I took, you know, on each side about an eighth inch depth, and you can see that. I left 25 thousandths of an inch. So the table diameter right now is... Mm -hmm. table diameter right now is... Six inches plus 25,000, I'm trying to say. And so we're about two and a half inches machine, and we're, uh, that's gone another two minutes. So I'm not going to bore you by showing the whole thing, but I thought that would be interesting for the George Thomas Universal Pillow Thing. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted.